Hey guys, it's Neil again from Harder Texas Armory, and today I got another first look at a new watch that I recently acquired through an eBay purchase. So this watch is a Casio Wave Scepter model number WVQ-120, and I'll have a text pop up of that so you can take a look at that. Uh, but boy, I'm really impressed with this watch. I've only had it for about half a day now, uh, but it's really cool. I like the design, overall design of it. Um, I like the colors. Everything is, is, is in excellent shape. Um, but the main reason I bought this watch was because of that wave scepter right here. So what that technology is, is there, this watch will sync to an atomic clock through a radio signal every day, which that is really cool. So you can see it's a quartz movement already. So it's going to be already very accurate. But as long as it's able to sync to an atomic clock, this wristwatch here will probably be the most accurate wristwatch that you could actually own because it's going to sync every day to the atomic clock. And then you have a quartz movement after it syncs. Uh, that's going to, you know, be very accurate by itself. So extremely accurate watch. And that's the reason why I purchased this one. It just I've always wanted to have one of these wave scepters. You'll see here also on the dial that this has the tough solar technology, which is great. And that's going to be the... Uh, recharging technology through the dial uh, where the battery that's inside here which is a lithium battery uh, will recharge itself through uh, direct sunlight or, or you know just any type of light so that's a great feature as well you don't have to change the battery on this quartz watch uh, you also notice here it says water resistant of 100 meters so that's great as well so that's going to let me uh, not have to worry about you know water getting inside the, the movement here uh, you could take it swimming you know snorkeling and it's, it's going to handle that just fine so that's a great feature too um, now the specs on this watch you're looking at around a 40 to 41 millimeter case if you measure from Right here to this side here, I'm getting around 41 millimeters. If I measure from here to here, it's around 40. So somewhere in between 40 and 41 millimeters. And to me, that's my favorite case size. So I'm, I was really pleased about that. When I purchased this watch on the you know, on the eBay auction, they didn't have the dimensions, so I was just kind of taking a risk ordering it. But uh, it turned out uh, to be the perfect size for me. Uh, your lug to lug, so from here to here is 46 millimeters. So that's nice and compact. So it's going to also uh, wear a little smaller than most, you know, 40 to 41 millimeter watches. Uh, your lug width for your straps and bands here is going to be 20 millimeter. So that's a nice standard size. I have plenty of uh, straps available to swap this out if I decide to do that. And I probably will probably put a NATO strap on this just like I do on all my watches. Um, and then your thickness is your case thickness is going to be uh, just under 12 millimeters, so it's nice and thin, which is to be expected with the quartz watch. But uh, before I end this, I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, this this really pretty watch here. I mean, it's got a stainless steel case uh, with some type of black PVD type coating on it, which almost looks like a charcoal or slate gray. Uh, really pretty. And then you'll see that the uh, embassies here on the bezel are in gold, as well as uh, the hour markers are white, which I'm assuming that's loom. I haven't even checked the loom on this yet, uh, but they are outlined in gold too. So it's a very pretty watch and, and the hands as well are gold. So it's, it's pretty cool looking watch. Now, let me flip the watch over here and let you take a look at the uh, case back. So you can see, uh, hopefully it's very small, but uh, you can see here the Wave Scepter logo. Uh, it says atomic timekeeping, uh, tough solar. There's your module number. Again, very small. I'll just go ahead and read it to you. 4316. Your model number is next to that. Stainless steel, water resistant to 10 bar or 100 meters. Uh, Japanese movement and cased in Thailand. And you can see the case back is uh, attached with four screws here. And then there's some more text here, which uh, is just the op some that's co coincides with the operation of the watch, which uh, I won't go into that for this first look. But overall, I'm really pleased with this watch. I'm happy with it. I, I paid around $30 for it, so I feel like I got a good deal uh, with shipping for 30 bucks. So uh, Casio has some real hidden gems. This is another watch that's not uh, very common. I really couldn't find any information on this watch online. So hopefully uh, me putting this video out here is gonna help some of y'all if y'all see this you know, for purchase anywhere. But uh, 
Look for a full review coming up soon, maybe in about a week once I wear this for a while and get used to wearing it and get some thoughts on it. Uh, I will be doing a full review. And in that full review, I will go into more detail, of course. So be on the lookout for that. So anyways, this is Neil at Hard Texas Armory. I hope y'all guys had a good Thanksgiving. And if you have any questions or comments on this watch, go ahead and leave them down below, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer those. Y'all take care and I'll catch you on the next one.